In the previous video, I showed you how to use non-option variable matrix functionality. It was a quite basic example, yet powerful enough to suit needs of nearly half of our customers' requests related to the uh, product configurations. In this video, I will show you more advanced example of using non-option variable matrix functionality, as well as how to use it in conjunction with select option. By the way, the same can be achieved with radio input option. So I'm adding a new option type select. It is called sled size. It has three sub options. I set price rate settings for each sub option as I will need them a bit later when configuring non-option variable. It is enough to set them as one, two and three. I just have to keep these values unique across the sub options. I'm going to adjust my base price non-option variable. Do you remember setting price rate settings to 1, 2 and 3? This is where I'm using them now. Click generate and I have 4 columns instead of 2 now. Also first variable should be my newly created select option. So I choose its variable in first var setting here. Next I'm adding my base price values. Now they are different based on both the area and the slat size chosen by customer. This is a table-based pricing implementation via non-option variable matrices functionality. Okay, uh, let's go to the product page and check how it works. Oh, I should have made my slat size option required. Mm, it's not critical though, but uh, it would be nice to make it required. It's just better for user experience, right? I'm still deciding whether I need the calculator to show you the difference in the price based on the size. Well, I think I don't need it. Uh, the difference is visible. It was 760 now it is 768 with the bigger size 